Partly because his life ended before the age of fifty, Hamilton was defined by the other founding fathers, and he managed, with amazing consistency, to alienate most of them. We have a tremendous lack of knowledge of how far we have gotten away from the Constitution of the United States. Democrats and Republicans alike have taken us away from the original intent. You see, I believe in this document as our founding fathers intended it. If the founding fathers and other patriots who fought during the Revolutionary War could see the United States today, I believe they would be proud of the path that the 13 colonies, now 50 strong states, have taken since then. There are lots of people out there who think they know the truth about God and religion, but does anybody really know for sure? That's why the Founding Fathers built freedom of religious belief into the structure of this nation, so that everybody could make up their minds for themselves. Our nation's Founding Fathers carefully crafted a Bill of Rights, an articulation of personal liberties woven into the entire fabric of our free society. When any of those freedoms are threatened anywhere, they must be defended and protected everywhere. When our Founding Fathers drafted the Constitution and Bill of Rights, black people weren't even considered human. I rise in support of the separation of powers as established by our Founding Fathers in the Constitution. The Constitution clearly delegates the power to deal with criminal matters, like the use of drugs, to the states. You should see what our Founding Fathers used to say to each other and in the early part of our nation. But what they were able to do, especially in Philadelphia in 1787, for months, they argued about what a House should be, what a Senate should be, the power of the President, the Congress, the Supreme Court, and they had to deal with slavery. I do believe that it was through divine providence that the Founding Fathers drafted a document that created a government that didn't trust each other, hence the separation of powers. And then, to close the deal, the Bill of Rights was added to continue to protect individual rights and freedoms. Second, marriage is an issue that our Founding Fathers wisely left to the states. Government is necessary for our survival. We need government in order to survive. The Founding Fathers created a special place for government. It is called the Constitution. And truly, when you look at the Constitution and our Founding Fathers and their writings, the things that made this country great, you might draw those conclusions, that they were conservative. They were fiscally conservative and socially conservative. In my view, far from deserving condemnation for their courageous reporting, the New York Times, the Washington Post and other newspapers should be commended for serving the purpose that the Founding Fathers saw so clearly. Maintaining checks and balances on the power of the judiciary branch and the other two branches is vital to keep the form of government set up by our Founding Fathers. Our Founding Fathers would be proud of all that America has achieved, and will continue to achieve, in the coming years. Our Founding Fathers declared independence from Great Britain because they were dissatisfied with the laws and policies that they believed abridged their freedoms. Had they taken the stance that many want our professional athletes to take, to just shut up and honor your country no matter what, we would be living in British colonies. Think of all that hard work our Founding Fathers put in, the revolutionizing, the three-fifths compromising, having to write the entire Constitution with a quill, and yet they neglected to include the right to vote. How did we win the election in the year 2000? We talked about a humble foreign policy, no nation building, don't police the world. That's conservative, it's Republican, it's pro-American, it follows the Founding Fathers. And, besides, it follows the Constitution. We must bring the rule of law to its full fruition in the United States, and when we do, we will have achieved the goals and rhetoric of our Founding Fathers. We have seen a central government promote the power of labor union bosses, and in turn be supported by that power, until it has become entirely too much a government of and for one class, which is exactly what our founding fathers wanted most to prevent. You need only reflect that one of the best ways to get yourself a reputation as a dangerous citizen these days is to go about repeating the very phrases which our founding fathers used in the struggle for independence. The Declaration of Independence promised citizens equal access to economic opportunity. This was the powerful principle for which men were willing to fight the American Revolution, but it was never codified in law. When the Founding Fathers wrote the Constitution, they assumed that the country's vast resources would ensure equality of opportunity. Proper training and federal supervision in state-federal partnerships are essential to both assuring constitutional rights and enforcing our immigration laws. Our founding fathers' concept of federalism does not prohibit such cooperation, 
and we have learned from experience that joint efforts work best. I think the founding fathers probably knew what they were doing in setting up the government to have a healthy tension between the executive branch and the legislative branch. When President Obama took office, I was transitioning out of the military and just seeing that he was taking the country in a direction that I didn't think was consistent with the Founding Fathers and with our constitutional roots. The Founding Fathers would be sorry to see that America had become so divided and factionalized. There's some jerks. There's some big egos. There are a few that think they're one of the Founding Fathers, in both parties. The vision that the Founding Fathers had of rule of law and equality before the law and no one above the law, that is a very viable vision, but instead of that, we have quasi-mob rule. I see happiness as a byproduct. I don't think you can pursue happiness. I think that phrase is one of the very few mistakes the Founding Fathers made. The Founding Fathers gave the free press the protection it must have to bear the secrets of government and inform the people. Too many in Washington display a ruling class mentality, and congressional term limits would go a long way towards restoring the citizen legislator ethos of the Founding Fathers. Now our Founding Fathers had the wisdom to know that social acceptance and popularity were fleeing, and that this country's principles needed to be rooted in strengths greater than the passions and the emotions of the times. If you read our Founding Fathers, people like Benjamin Franklin and Jefferson, what we're doing now in this country is making them roll over in their graves. I think the Founding Fathers believed religion shouldn't interact directly with government. Thousands of present-day students, like many of our Founding Fathers, are being taught at home. The Founding Fathers' instructions were clear, the right to free speech includes bad speech, it means tolerance of ideas that many find obnoxious. The Founding Fathers in their wisdom decided that children were an unnatural strain on parents. So they provided jails called schools, equipped with tortures called an education. In the summer of 1776 our founding fathers sought to secure our independence and the liberties that remain the foundation of our nation today. 200 years ago, our founding fathers gave us a democracy. It was based upon the simple, yet noble, idea that government derives its validity from the consent of the governed. Congress is functioning the way the Founding Fathers intended not very well. They understood that if you move too quickly, our democracy will be less responsible to the majority. I believe we have become paralyzed, paralyzed by our desire to be loved. Now our Founding Fathers had the wisdom to know that social acceptance and popularity were fleeing, and that this country's principles needed to be rooted in strengths greater than the passions and the emotions of the times. An unlimited America was the vision for the nation set forth by our founding fathers. It is the vision enshrined in those two great charters of freedom, our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. Many of America's most intractable problems stem from the fact that we have strayed from that vision and lost direction. Now you know my credo, free market capitalism is the best path to prosperity. And let me add to that from our founding fathers, our Creator endowed us with the inalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In other words, freedom. What the Founding Fathers created in the Constitution is the most magnificent government on the face of the earth, and the reason is this. Because it was intended to preserve the American society and the American spirit, not to transform it or destroy it. If America's Founding Fathers espoused openness to religion, creationism, and the Bible being taught in schools, then it beckons the question, why don't we? For the freedoms our Founding Fathers not only dreamed about, but made into reality. It is that same pursuit of freedom today that is helping to make our world a safer place. When you work in the United States Senate, and you are around people of all different ideas and beliefs, you realize that what our Founding Fathers did that was so genius, is that they made the Senate the place where compromises are supposed to happen because of the makeup of the Senate. America, to me, is this enormous contrast between the heady idealism of founding fathers such as Thomas Jefferson, who said, all men are created equal, and the reality that he was himself a slave owner. The founding fathers were not only brilliant, they were system builders and systematic thinkers. They came up with comprehensive plans and visions. A handwritten declaration of independence was on my bedroom wall and the founding fathers were above my desk in college. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com